my manager, who was Mark Gordon at the time, uh, happened to be back in New York at a party with uh, Irv, Be Irv Beagle, who was the uh, vice president of uh, Bell Records at the time. So they were all at the party, and Jerry Fuller happened to be there. And uh, Irv came to Mark, and he told him, I got a guy, you know, who has some good songs that might be perfect for Al to produce him. So then Jerry Fuller came back to California, and I was working at a little bitty country and western, you know, saloon type of thing in a place called Chino, California. And Jerry came in and sat there all night, listened to everything I was doing. So at the end of the night, he said, man, I got the perfect song for you. So I met him the next day in his office at 10 o'clock. And uh, he had recorded it on Johnny Mathis about six months prior. And it was on an album, and Columbia never did anything with it. So You mean Johnny Mathis had Johnny recorded Johnny Mathis had recorded it. He recorded it first. Show and tell. Right. He was the very first to record it. And Columbia didn't do anything with it. So I came in, and Jerry played Johnny's version. And I said, well, take that one off, and we'll just do it a cappella. And he played the guitar, and I sang it. And we went into the studio, and the rest is history. And this was like in 73 uh, I recorded it on my daughter's first little birthday, and it went number one. Yeah. Johnny Rivers produced it, right? Right. Johnny produced it. It was written by Oscar Brown Jr. a long time ago, and uh, my coming up through the ranks of, you know, jazz, being in jazz combos and being a drummer, I was always into Oscar Brown Jr.'s material, and as a matter of fact, I used to sing The Snake two, three times a night. And when I got, got hooked up with Johnny Rivers, uh, we went to Memphis for Chip's moment to produce me, okay? So Chip's, uh, you know, they, they, they take care of business a little bit different, you know, in Memphis than they do in L.A. And Johnny is used to, you know, Chip's is way laid back. So Johnny, we were there for three days, and Johnny just got impatient. He said, well, man, we're down here to spend money. We don't have to wait. He said, what do you think about the song The Snake? I said, I like it, you know. I said, I do it all the time. He said, what would you think of my version? I did it the whiskey. You know, that's only really one good way you can do it, and that's the way Oscar wrote it. So we got back, we went on back to L.A. and got back and got Marty Page to put an arrangement on it, and the rest is history on that. And the arrangement on it is so contemporary, it's always fresh, really.